taking care of the land is two things that I take dearly in the two main packages is you want to look at is soil health and soil quality. And then if you get both of them you're gonna have clean runoff, you know, and it deals with the water quality at the at the as the benefit. And one thing about the, you're speaking of a, a great gentleman, the Leopold, uh, his nature of conservation is for none. It's, it's his, his legacy lives on, and we call him the father of conservation. When we talk about the benefit of a watershed, we look at the whole scope of a particular watershed, and that's everything that's the surrounding of that and what runs off from it. But you have to have all the people that live within that watershed be on the same page. If we practice good conservation, anywhere from benefiting the forest land use, benefiting the wildlife land use, benefiting the row crop land use, we want to do it in a way that benefits everyone. Well, another thing about conserving watersheds and the benefit of the runoff is, is that's our future. Once we destroy the ecosystem of a particular watershed and the benefits from it, uh, it has an effect on not only on the soil value, but it has effects on human value. So by protecting that, it protects our future. When you've got a park that is saved for the nature and the benefit of it on the conservation, it would always be an educational area for the young generations to come about. But if you ever notice in our cities, we call, they look for green space now. And this is what you can come out and enjoy what we call green space in community and how the environment, just listen to the environment talk to you.